Hello viewers, today I am going to share with you a small surgical tip uh, which will help you reduce a long bone fracture, especially femur fracture. Now femur fracture can be quite difficult to reduce closed uh, with experience. Uh, I am sure you can do most of the surgeries closed, but fractures involving distal third where the distal fragment is flexed, a close reduction can be quite challenging. Uh, so I am going to share you with surgical tip in which we are going to make two sap holes and use two homans to do a good reduction which will help you not only in reduction and also a pass good passage of the nail and getting a good anatomical reduction. So let's hope you like it. So today I'll share you this tip as how I do it. So I'm sure you have come across uh, this situation. Now uh, we are doing the nailing of uh, distal femur which is uh, uh, multifragmentary. Now this is the lateral view. This is posterior. This is anterior. So distal femur this is always flexed and this is the AP view, this is the lateral side, this is the medial side and irrespective of how hard you are trying to reduce it by external forces, it can sometimes be very challenging. Now we think that if you are struggling and you are not able to pass the nail because whenever we are passing the nail, this is hitting the lateral cortex because whenever we are trying to uh, pass the nail, or try to reduce the fracture, it is becoming quite difficult. So we will show you a trick which will help you a lot in reducing this fracture. Um, you have to open it, but those incisions are very small and you do not have to disturb the fracture hematoma. So if you can see, we have made two small stab holes and I will show you the location. One is in the distal fragment and one is in the proximal fragment. Now, when the fracture is this distal, it becomes very difficult to control it with manual forces. So there is no harm in opening it and once you open it, you can put your home and retractor and then you can neutralize the forces and get a perfect reduction and with this, you should be able to pass the nail or guide wire with ease. So see what we are doing, we have inserted this home and because distal fragment is flexed, so we have put this posterior. And this has gone anterior medially so that we can translate the fragment. And let's see if we succeed or not. So now you can see, you know, if the procedure is going to take long, you can use two people. So one person, Amit is lifting it up and Nitesh is putting the proximal fragment down and laterally. So let's see if we are able to reduce the fracture or not. So if you see this, this is before reduction. And now, once we have put the homans, you can see that this is nicely aligned. And now when you pass the nail, it's not going to hit the cortex, it will go straight down. So let's see the lateral as well. So this is the lateral position. So you can see the homan is in the distal fragment and now there is no flexion of the distal femur. So on this occasion, we managed to get a good position and they were able to get the guide wire, but you can do it from the very beginning when you are struggling to pass the guide wire. Make two small stab holes, use homans and you will be able to pass the guide wire in far more acceptable position. Otherwise, you will keep struggling. So There is no harm, you are not actually opening it, you are just making two stab holes and it is as good as doing it closed. So if you see now, you can, the nail has gone so easily, the fracture is anatomically reduced. This is the butterfly fragment. I am just going to ignore it because it is going to heal beautifully without any problem. Previously, when we were trying close, every time nail was hitting this lateral cortex and they were struggling for around 20 minutes. Now, once we have made these two stab holes, the life is far, you know, so much easier. So, I am just going to save this image on the this side, right side and I will show you how beautiful it looks on the lateral as well. Look at this reduction, you know, it's perfectly anatomical. The nail could be slightly more central, but I think it will do the job. AP and lateral, the fracture is nicely reduced. So if you are struggling, don't struggle for too long. Make two stab holes and your life will be far more easier. So these are the two small stab holes that we have made. And these are, you know, of the same size what we use for distal locking. So you have not opened it up and you have got all the advantage of doing it close because you have not really disturbed the fracture site of fracture hematoma. So this is a very useful trick and you can use it anywhere where you are struggling. Just make it two small holes, neutralize the forces and your life will be much more better and you will struggle less 
and you will get a good reduction and a good post-op x-ray. So viewers, this was a demonstration of how to reduce a closed femur fracture using two stab holes and uh, two Hohmann retractor. It's quite easy. Um, once you have got uh, Hohmann retractor close to uh, the proximal and distal fragment, you are able to apply you are able to apply a better lever arm and you are able to get a good reduction, which will not only help you in passing um, the guide wire. Also, if you have passed the guide wire and if you're not able to maintain the position this trick will help you in maintaining the position and passing a nail. So I hope you like it. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up. Please do subscribe and do share our channel. Thank you.